friends. How's it going? I think I have everything set up and ready to go. We'll see. My brain is like completely shot. <laughs> I've worked the last two days and I haven't worked that much, all things considered, like m that many hours, but like I'm still learning everything and I'm still trying to catch up on everything. And also I haven't been, I haven't been sleeping because it's been hot. So hi, my brain is not here, but that's okay, because I am. I'm here, even if my brain isn't. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope things are going good. We, I am here. Hi, hello. Yes, hi, I'm here. Um, we do have new emotes. Hey, we got new emotes. Hey, you should hydrate. I managed to get... But look, look, I have my water. I've been drinking water. Don't even worry about it. Thank you, Emmy. Um, but yeah, we have new we have new emotes. It's, it's the same emote, but one's more cursed than the other. And I love them. Um <laughs> So that's a thing. What else? It's also Pride Month. Happy Pride, friends. Um I've already posted about it in a couple of places. Uh, I've got a lot of complicated feelings about Pride, but you know what? I'm still here to celebrate my friends, because pretty much all my friends are queer, and I'm here for that. Um, hi! Devo. Come on. Devo also says, happy Pride, everyone. Here he is. Here's the boy. Here's the boy. Do you feel better if I scratch your belly? Yeah? Okay. The boy says hello. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Hi. Sweet man. Um. Yeah, he does that. He does that sometimes. Where he's just like, I lick now. You're just gonna aggressively rub your head on my arm? What are you doing? Why are you trying to lay like this? This makes no sense. Hey, you want down? I'm gonna put you down. I'm gonna set you down right there. That's Devo. He's being a goober. Um, he doesn't. He really doesn't understand anything. He's a simple lad, and he just wants to be. Hi, Nam. Um, but yeah. Hi. I'm exi I'm excited, exhausted, and excited. Um, we're gonna do some Call of Cthulhu today, which I'm excited for. And I think once we're done with Call of Cthulhu, which we might finish tonight, um, we're gonna play some Prey next. We'll get back to Song of Horror at some point. I need, I need a break between episodes on that game, I think. <laughs> Yeah, Devo is hanging out and running around. He'll probably probably be back. Be here to yell at us some more. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm also just excited about this weekend. We got lots of things to do this weekend. Um, hi, Saber. Uh, Friday, we've got some indie games that we're going to check out. And then Saturday is our gummy hunt. It's gummy hunt time on Saturday. And I'm very excited about the gummy hunt. Like, excited enough that I just want to do it now, but I have to wait. I have to wait. That's fine. We can wait. Um. <laughs> we're gonna find all the gummies. I'm very excited about it. But, for now, um. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for it. We love Dread X here. Um. But yeah, for now, we're gonna do some Call of Cthulhu, like I said. I don't remember. Where are we left off? Really? Hold on. Let me do this. Um. Yeah. Yeah. This is gonna be great. I think we had just escaped the asylum and we're in the process of figuring out what to do next. We had just met up with cop friend, which is not a couple of words that I ever thought I would say together. 
Oh, here's our here's our our summary. Pierce woke up in an asylum installed in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. He met Dr. Folden, a female friend of Bradley, who helped him to escape. Um, wandering through the corridors of this place where Dr. Fuller reigned supreme, Pierce was able to talk to a man called Francis Sanders. Before dying in full view of the detective, he accused Sarah Hawkins of being the cause of his torment. Pierce finally left the accursed building, accompanied by Bradley and Colden. Uh, the companions in misfortune decide to use the Hawkins mansion as a hideout. Bradley seems fine. He seems fine for a cop. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. I do need a general reminder of what all the controls are, but that's fine. Um, the nice. other night's events are still confused in my head. Is that all you have to say? Okay. Don't have a drink. No drink. So hi, Travis. Um, we need to go talk to Mrs. Sanders. Right. Because she doesn't know that he's dead. And I think we agreed that we were going to try and tell her that her husband is dead. Here's Colden Bradley. And Bradley decided to team up to solve the Sarah Hawkins case. They have a new tra trail to follow. Francis Sanders, an art collector and friend of the painter who died right in front of Pierce. The detective goes to the house in order to speak to his widow about the Shambler uh, that the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. I'm having a hell of a time trying to talk right now. Why are words so hard? What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders? I'm a private detective. Also. Talk about your husband. Hi, Sarah Hawkins. Rip it and rip it. Can I come in? You may. <gasps> Emmy got to it first. I know that my husband died yesterday. That never happens. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, well. Look oh, it's this lady. It's the bootlegger. You know each other. Our paths crossed briefly. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her. Every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's, it's almost like she could be involved. Detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating France's death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, I wish I could look around. since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. Bye. This way, Mr. Pierce. <laughs> and do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. How's everyone doing today, by the way? It's like not a million may degrees here, and it's incredibly exciting. You had the opportunity to talk to my husband. <laughs> Yesterday, because everyone wishes I they were as the cool hostel. as Bar or as Miss Fisher. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about: Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even. Talk oh, poor lady. The day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? How honest should I be with her? That doesn't seem like a great option. Um. What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, that's not it what was I meant. Inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. But, he suffers mm. no longer, if you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. Thank you for your That's kind words. Not Nobody what I meant to say, but okay. To me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I need to understand. How, how could this happen in a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes. Did well, you not there's... do anything to help him? 
There are these creatures. Polar is the doctor that's in charge there, right? Hold to test your eloquence. So ask we'll, Fuller. He's the. We'll stick. Doctor. We'll stick with but blaming the doctor. <laughs> find his treatments more terrifying than the illnesses he sets out to cure. Also, everyone is so I'm wiggly in this game. Takes the trouble to receive me. He sends a secretary to tell me that I cannot see Francis. Me. His own widow. He must think that I am a terrible wife for having abandoned him in such a way. But I only wanted what was best for him. I'm not here to condemn you, Mrs. Sanders. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me and then leave. Um... Hey, we can ask about the Shambler. I did start that with that. Your husband already mentioned this dimensional Shambler. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else? To paint such horrors. I mean, this doesn't excite Take her. for yourself. Oh my god, if you sorry. Feel so inclined. This doesn't surprise it is us. only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it, I would urge you to make the most of your visit. Because I count on ridding myself of that thing as soon as I can. Fair enough. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. I did want to ask the other questions, but I wasn't entirely sure that I'd be able to, which is why I started with the one that I did. But that's fine. Did she really care for him, after all? Uh, dear madam, I acknowledge receipt of the letter in which you demand the body of your deceased husband. I am sorry to inform you that I cannot agree to return his body to you. At the moment of his internment, you signed a discharge, allowing me to dispose of his body as I see fit. Extend my deepest condolences to you. Thomas Fuller. Horrible. The Terrible. Day the Shambler came into the Sanders lives. A photograph of Sarah Hawkins next to Sanders. They must be close. I mean he is stand or she is standing between he and his wife. <laughs> oh, you want me to just reconstruct a memory right now? Right now? Right now. A house of artists. House of Artists. Is that all you have to say about that? Alright, pal. It very well could be. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? They sound similar, but I think their accents were different, which doesn't mean anything to be using a different accent, but I'd be curious to know. <laughs> oh. Sanders' accession register beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell the painting? Mm. <gasps> he finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? Paint. Trying to... I'm trying to... She first refused to sell the painting. How did that make her feel? I wish you would choose whether I should push and hold or just click. <laughs> she despises Sarah Hawkins, but it's the painting she truly hates. Why? Because it's spooky and bad. Ah! Oh. The Shambler. To see it. Do we? That seems not great. Got some more progress with our medicine stat. Love that. Okay. Um. <laughs> I 
love the new emote so much. So much! Put it in here. <gasps> Unlock it! Unlock the door! I want in to the room, please. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Okay. Love me some key items. The, <laughs> the willingness with which our character has for looking at this terrible painting is a little concerning. Strange. Um. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part it is? her painting. Wait, he's also Why the voice for Margaret? For nothing. All right, okay. Okay. Dang. Man gets around. Uh, dear Francis, I beg you to give up all hope of ever owning this accursed painting. If your friendship has any meaning for you, please spare me the weight of guilt. I cannot be the architect of your fall. I beg you, my dear friend, forget the shambler. Your friend, Sarah Hawkins. New emotes are very good. Emmy does good art. Listen. Good art, Emmy. The whale and the cod. Just, I just have a book now. Great. Great. <gasps> There's the lady. An old diary. Uh, this volume spends some time on Reverend Wickwood's community. His wife expresses her worries about the strange dreams that the Reverend's congregation are having since their arrival on the island. Some members of the community, her husband included, began to speak of their vision as a messenger, uh, of their vision as a messenger sent by God. She is scared that they will suffer the same fate as the lost tribe. Best art Emmy. That's what we all that's what we all call them. <laughs> that's what we all know Emmy as. <gasps> key. Key got got key. Dissertation on an anatomical question. More medicine. How am I doing with that, by the way? We're okay. Oh, I have seven points available to me also. I should probably, like, use those. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's also do that. And then maybe dump the rest in there. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. Also, sanity. What's my sanity doing? This is just things that I have witnessed. Understood. I just want to get rid of these markers. That's all. Um, I just got an achievement called Jack of All Trades, and I don't know what for. Assumably for looking at things? It's fine, I'm sure. Clues. There we go. I just want all of these done, please and thank you. Here I was thinking if I just like clicked through, it would have been fine, but I actually have to like click on everything. That's a little obnoxious, but hey, what can you do? I guess we have collected a lot of things from the previous chapters. PC's fine. Okay, great. Great! Unlocked. Unlocked! That's twice you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a habit of it. It's a I've habit. got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this game? Is this a threat? Is this man threatening me? I have a well-off client in Boston who heard about the death of Francis Sanders and wanted me to size up his estate before making an offer to his widow. Perfect, detective. The pretext, the body language. I would have bought it if it was the first time I'd seen your face. 
You're a good talker, Pierce. Your story will do for the moment. <laughs> All right, so she saw through that. And you. What brings you to <laughs> This the is fine. I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? I do, I do like this lady. Are you, are you walking away from not me? Not now, sweetheart. I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. Yeah, okay. Also, I should a take strange this. strange Amerindian pendant. Great. <gasps> what is this? Yeah, read. Read a book. The kind of encyclopedia of monstrous and unknown creatures. Beginning to believe they exist. This will affect my destiny, apparently. That... That made me go a little tiny bit crazy. <laughs> Did that... That make my brain go a little wacky. Whoa. All right. Um, is that all we have to say about that? Is just hmm. These artifacts date Pierce, from pre-Columbian times. How would you know? These artifacts okay, date from pre-Columbian times. What's in here? Oh, this. You want me to hide in there? <laughs> I don't appreciate the implications of having to hide. There's the Shambler, which is what they want me to look at. But the what if I look at other things? To the gallery. What if we look at the other things? Right? Just casually hiding like you do. Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta hide. Why was he so interested in old weapons? You know? Sometimes you just walk into a room and go, gotta get in here. Live in here now. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's oil for my lamp. The lamp that I, like, forget to use. Because it's silly. And not particularly helpful. Statues are pretty dope. Okay. Um. I want to, like look as much look at the as much of this as possible the entire wing of his manor into an art gallery this lion has has a tentacle beard and i love it <laughs> oh very good okay um is there anything else i can look at that's just oil they're giving me a lot of oil for a room that's incredibly well lit. Is this? Okay, there's... <laughs> there are my buttons. For my lamps. Put that away? Put that away. Okay. Put it away. I'm scared. Before I actually look at it. <gasps> Is this thing over here. part of Sander's collection, or was he seeking to acquire it? Far from possessing the talents of Sarah Hawkins, Sander threw a dagger with a tortured form down to the smallest detail. Guard carries a strange esoteric symbol, a recurring feature of his correspondence with Sarah. Okay, but he has one of these, doesn't he? love oil here why was he so interested in old weapons okay maybe it's not here maybe we just look at this picture and suffer the consequences of looking at said picture hold on a second sorry i'm, I'm very snotty okay 
Ugh. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, 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 bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad. I'm gonna die. Don't! Oh my god. Ooh. Sir, you're gonna get gobbled up. How do we not be here? I like it. It looks cool. How? Do I just need to not make noise? That's the Shambler, buddy. Oh. I don't know where it is. It's going to find me, isn't it? What is my goal? What am I doing? I've examined the shambler. So now what? Uh... I would like to leave very much. I want to not be here anymore. <laughs> Thanks. Let's go ahead and dump some points in there. This is fine. No. Yes. Oh! Well, that's unfortunate. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Where am I going? I want to skip. Like, mm. what the hell was that? It's a monster, buddy. I'm gonna get caught. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, is the thing. Flash, where is he? Have I been found out? Music is really intense for nothing happening. I can't even touch it.
have to go look at the painting? This is incredibly unfortunate. And it doesn't need to be as loud as it is. Okay, I am guessing I need to go look at the painting again. What the hell was that? Maybe burn it a little bit. The issue with that being... Where is it? Fuck. unfortunate that they start him so close to the painting. What the hell was that? Okay, Edward, stop talking. Shh, don't speak. This is unfortunate. This is really unfortunate. Can we? We maybe not have him track me. Is he? That thing came out of this painting. There has to be a way. Maybe if I destroy it. Okay, then how? Maybe we just go away. Okay, I get that I'm supposed to destroy it, but how would you like me to go about doing that? That thing came out of this paint. There has to be a way. Maybe if I destroy it. Why is that menu so loud? Uh... What the hell was that? Okay, Pierce, shut up. That thing came out of this painting. There has to be a way. Maybe if I destroy it. What can we do? Do I find the knife? Is that... 
Is that it? Damn. Did it hear that? I could try tearing the painting with this thing. Uh, I don't know that this is the right one. In fact, I think this is quite in the incorrect one, actually. found the right one. Can I skip this and then double check that piece of paper that we had? Colt? No. Blues. Yeah, it's that second one that I had. Okay. But also... Right. What the hell was that? Get down. Get down, buddy. Let's go this way. And then we'll go this way. And then we'll cut across. Damn. This dagger looks different. What do you mean it looks different? Did I do it? I did it! Back in you go, buddy. No, you can't. No, you can't take us. Stab it in the face! You have a knife! Or stab it in the arm. That works too, I guess. Okay, bye! I feel like I probably would have pieced that together a little faster. If, uh... If we hadn't taken as long a break from this as we had. You sure you yeah. won't be needing that hand? You're it's losing a bad it, detective. Painting. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. No, ma'am, listen. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Yeah, there was a monster. Listen. Sanders was right. This painting is cursed. What are you talking about? I was attacked by a creature. Cursed it back. Aliens. I... I think so, too. You knew. You knew about the beast. I didn't mean what for that to be as about? accusatory as it sounded. I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You mean me. Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way... Where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. Are you cool with me taking it with me then? It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Okay, no, all right. Antique seller. I've still got things to settle with Irene. Thanks, lady. Bye. Oh, I have to sneeze. Excuse me. Ugh. 
All right, chapter seven, let's go. Thanks. Ugh. Well, someone's dead. <laughs> this, this isn't good. Where is the bookseller? That's a good question. Where indeed? Also, let me look at all the Freud's books so I get points. Interpretation of dreams. Gross. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. Don't count that towards my medicine progression. Horrible. An old diary. Uh, the pastor declared himself to be the prophet. He renounced God and worshipped a strange pagan entity with a monstrous appearance. His wife tried to reason with her husband, but in vain. He was convinced he must listen to this voice in his head because it holds the truth. Okay. I just want to find all the books so I get all the points. A Puritan colony led by Reverend John Wickwood settled on the island during the 17th century. Uh, they named the island Darkwater because of the dark shades of the sea. They believed it was because of the peculiar color of the rocks surrounding the island. They erected the first buildings, among which were the Hawkins Manor, the church, and the cemetery. The rare documents and handwritten notes they left spoke of nightmares and deviant behaviors. They disappeared at the beginning of the 18th century. That's not a book I can pick up. Hello, bookseller! Give me some oil. Hello? In the 19th century, as the American whaling industry reached its peak in the rest of the world, whales gradually disappeared from the waters surrounding dark water. This phenomenon appears even more mysterious because, up till then, the region was a favored refuge for cetaceans. In 1847, after months of pursuit, uh, Sela returns to port with the gigantic creature on board. Its crew asserts that the sea monster had eaten all the disappeared whales. After a night of ferocious combat, the survivors managed to drag the beast onto the whaling ship. Captions, what are you doing? Hmm. Hold on a second. What if I move my microphone closer? Maybe enunciate more. Incredibly sniffly, which makes me mumble. Or at least run my words together more. I need to be mindful of that. Ugh. Handbook on anatomy and dissection! Great! Hello? Got some broken glass. I'm sure this is fine. What happened here? I don't think we need to worry about it. There's clearly, there's clearly a safe back there. <laughs> Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Blood. Seems like amateur work. Hmm. Bones. What's this? To whom? Does this footprint belong? Whoever your thief is, probably. This burglar seems to be rather clumsy. A drunk, perhaps? What killed all these animals? Oh, dang. What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? The bad what kind. What made the burglar flee before finishing his work? What the... Charles Hawkins? Lol, what a... goober. Looks like the symbol rejected Hawkins. 
What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Ouchies! Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Okay. Can we... Look out here and see what, maybe? Mm. No, there has to be something in here that I have to look at. Is it... Drake you. put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Of course it is. Of course it is. Drake left What's instructions this? on how to find the combination of his safe. All right. Okay. Um. If somebody finds these memoirs, there will be no doubt that I am in serious trouble. My last and only hope is that my body and bones are still in this plane of reality, in order that they may be recovered and burned. The funeral urn must be given to my dear mother if she is still of this world. The following messages of capital importance. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrates acuity as sharp as mine... I can hope to gain access to my most precious possession. It lies within my safe, and the clues to the combination are to be found in three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Each cylinder is numbered, even if, as the uh, celebrated author says, uh, order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of the imagination. Indeed, despite my preference for organized chaos, I must admit that reason usually prevails in the end. If by chance a person, or should I say a genius, was to match my intellect and find the combination of the safe, I would ask that they deliver its contents into the safekeeping of my friend and colleague, Professor Armitage of, of Miskatonic University. The content of the safe is not only, uh, only a vast digest of knowledge, but also a weapon that is far too dangerous for it to fall into the wrong hands. I hope that you will be able to appreciate the danger that this represents and that you will act accordingly. In any event, I will neither be there to guide you nor to suffer from your actions. Um, hi, get cozy. How's it going? How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right? <laughs> Imagine, if you will. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Yes. The answer to that is yes. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? Right. This key that bears the Elder Sign is the only one able to protect your psyche. It is in the form of a cylindrical medallion hanging at the end of a heavy chain. Hundreds of years ago, the star in the branch, uh, whose purpose is to push back the forces of the Great Old Ones, were engraved at its center. Everything points to it being Charles Hawkins that tore it from its last owner, an Egyptian antique dealer. In press cuttings that mention this, uh, the misdemeanor, the date of the robbery coincides with the last of Hawkins' trips, um, of to Cairo? Hawkins' trips to Cairo. Uh, it remains to be seen whether he knows of the true purpose of the artifact. Try to find it. Um, I'm glad you're doing well. I am doing pretty alright myself very curious as to how this is how this is gonna go what's gonna happen <laughs> enjoying the fact that it's not a million degrees here right now this is too many books to look at what did i what did the note say i picked it up i can't look at it okay this is fine hold on <laughs> but yeah i'm doing super well thanks for asking let me get rid of these markers there's the dagger. Um, we just have some more sanity stuff that I gotta look at, I guess. There we go. No, that's not it. That's not it either. Is it in my inventory? Yes, there it is. Okay. Where is it? Clues to the combination are to be found in three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Life and study. Arkham editions. 
Never heard of him. Collection of poems by Ed Edward Pickman Derby, also known as The Nightmare Lyrics. This collection of poems was sensationally received when first published in 1908. Derby was only 18 years old. This volume is part of the Arkham Anthology, a luxurious collection of treaties and works on esotericism and the supernatural. How many volumes are there in this collection? Book of Esoteric Philosophy and a key text in Madame Blavatsky's the uh, Theosophical Movement, written by Helen Petro Petrovna Blavatsky. This volume is part of the Arkham Anthology, a luxurious collection of treaties and works on the esotericism. Exotericism. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Okay, hold on. I don't know that I need to read Arkham all those. Editions. Never heard of them. Are you going to keep saying this? <laughs> How many volumes are there in this collection? Many. Um, these are written by Nostradamus. Another volume by Arkham Editions. I'm looking Arkham Editions. For never heard of him. Any that are like Greek philosophy? Okay. Um Do we have any other ones that we can look at? Or is that it? Those might be be it. Those might be the ones that I have to look at. Things are not looking good. I, d I don't know chess. I <laughs> what kind of chalice? We this goblet seems to be very ancient. It seems to be made of gold and decorated with real precious stones. Do the rubies and sapphires make up a, sp a specific motif? Possibly. There has got to be, honestly, can you imagine just picking, like, every single book that you pick up, you just make one of, like, three comments about, <gasps> found them. that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Found them. We're fine. Everything's fine. Arkham editions? Never heard of them. How many books are in this collection? Where is the place where I can play these wax cylinders? Hey. Game. Here? Brick cylinder one. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. That's the, the guardian goblet. of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Okay. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling. And my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. So number of rubies, number of white chess pieces. Here, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seems particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. And then the Azoth. Edition. The Chalice of Knowledge. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five rubies. Five rubies. Three white chess pieces remain on the board. I'm assuming we're not including the queen since it mentioned her. So maybe it's three or four. I'll write that both of those down. 
And then this Drake one? talked about a particular volume. Yeah. Five three nine. Hey! I liked that. I liked that puzzle. <laughs> That's a big book. By the way. Like, as large as his torso. Maybe don't touch the summoning circles. Have we considered not constantly bringing bad things into the world? We're back at the Institute. Oh no. Are you gonna load? You gonna you gonna <laughs> Hey game? Oh, it's thinking about it. There we go. Dr. Coleman, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient <gasps> after all. Am he, I? He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. Dr. Colden now? He specifically knew? asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Honestly, oh, it was it was struggling for a I'll second. Do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of him. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Um... What can you tell me about him? He was highly agitated an hour ago. We were about to tie him down and he fell asleep. Ten minutes ago, Am he I into a I the drama? Position. I thought he was waking I don't up, think I'm know. the drama. <laughs> What are his symptoms? His Definitely not what I was going to say, but I have said it now, so, you know. losing its color. His body rigid. I closed his <laughs> eyes myself. They were glassing over. I didn't want them to dry out. And I couldn't bear to look at the expression on his face. You did well. Don't worry. Let's stay professional, if you will. Um, okay, so we know his symptoms. Show me his file. His medical file. That that's not possible. Don't tell me Dr. Fuller has taken this file as well. We need it. That's why I call you. This man's ailment has been hidden from us. Come on now. What was he treated for? An intoxication, I was told. After inhaling chemicals. It's the bad cult chemicals! I don't recognize him. Did he just arrive on the island? He said he worked on the docks, but not with Captain Fitzroy. I think he works for Ms. Baker. Who? You know, the woman at the head of their gang. They call her Cat. Oh, I see. Do you have other questions? No, that's all of... That'll do for the time being. It's everything do I can you ask. Know what this man might be undergoing? Uh... Did you inject him with a tranquilizer? No, Doctor. Not me, not anyone. Our stock is empty yet again. Again? But there was enough for the whole island. More and more people are suffering from insomnia. We can't refuse to help. Of course. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? Let's examine the patient. Well, I'll examine him. Hey, sir. How are you doing? 
also. No, I can't. I can't look at Pierce, because we're not Pierce right now, which makes sense, but I was kind of hoping that Colden had her own sheet. Okay, that's fine. 30-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necros palupal tissue. Lord, this smell. Poor buddy! His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. Get His this man a glass of water. seem to feature a slight ring Speaking under the of. skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. He's turning into a fish, man! Severe malnutrition. He's growing a tentacle. Traces of petechia. Oh, it doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. So, doctor, an opinion? Man's turning sure into an octopus. I knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor, after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? Um... Can I go through if all of these? his abdomen, it would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Unless... This man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry. That the edema would go away by itself. You know... I'm not sure Dr. Fuller... I don't know how many more truth. ways we can say that this isn't an edema. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his Because he's got a cartilaginous skeleton now. I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. I see signs of hypodermic lysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but when we bathed him... <laughs> I was going to say, have we tried sticking him in a tub? Better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. Well, let's go put him in a bathtub! I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those <laughs> usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No, but no. fish people! This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cohen, may I know what you are doing to my patient? What I'm doing... Can I ask why you're wearing sunglasses no, indoors? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I That's Dr. Colden to you, fucker. Patients, provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? This fucking guy. His no, I tried to click the bottom line! Body temperature. I don't know what experiments you've undertaken, but this Fuck. is going too far. Oh, I see. <laughs> beneath your indignation. That's but acceptable because those sunglasses are on, on the forehead. Endeavors? You are a brilliant physician, Dr. Fuller, but this man, this man has the attributes of some kind of animal. Like a cephalopod. Could you be more precise? Oh! Cephalopod, perhaps. 
was the news is here. That's what I Very said. Excellent. I know you are thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be in time. I will not let you do this. I don't like this guy. Me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. This man is too wiggly for his own damn good. Was that a threat? <laughs> what did he mean? That's a hundred percent a threat, okay. man. Dr. Fuller is this institution's <laughs> founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against Hong this. Kong. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. <laughs> Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? We could smuggle this man out of the building. Oh, Didn't files that evidence exists. I'm sure of it. I need to find the missing medical files. I and wish. I, find those? I hope. In his office. What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I would like I'm to be able to kill Dr. Fuller. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep mum. I like this nurse. <gasps> I am lady now. Badass doctor lady. Love it. This place draws you in and never lets you go. Yikes. What's in here? No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donna. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> And the what is answer happening? is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh well, at least that we silly don't have goose. to clean for a while. You just wait and see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. Wow, who are we being mean to? Hey pal. Watch out for the water, doctor. Watching. I'm watching. Thank you, though. Oh! <laughs> Not me climbing up onto the boxes. Is there anything else in here? No. Okay. Um. Alright, so we're trying to get these files, right? Gentlemen, may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. I'm sorry. Dr. Fuller is a very busy man. Well, is there anyone else who can tell us what's going on? She's our only family, you know? And we can't even see her medical file. Don't worry. I'm aware our institution is not always welcoming. But your mother is in good hands. I'll tend to her myself. And keep you informed at once. Would that suit you? Well, that sure sounds great to us, Doctor. Thank you. But those are just words. So we're not budging. That's Very fine. Well. At least I'll know where to find you. Kitchen. Okay, so yeah, we're trying to get into Fuller's office, but I do want to, like, poke around and explore and see what we can find. Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Okay. That, <laughs> what is that? What does that do for us? Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. Uh. I read that as fishmen and not fishermen. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Nurse? Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Okay, help do the thing with the man. Help him. Help that man. 
hay fever. What's he doing here? Maybe it's really bad. I know my allergies have been off the charts lately. Chronic insomnia. Like half the island. Oh, and this is the guy that we started with. An unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. Okay. Again, I'm sort of just taking my time right now and, like, exploring. Just wanna... I wanna get a feel for this place. Ah. The whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah. Doctor, is that you? You okay? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? The one that hides the smuggling business. Oh, no, not them. They don't go on that side of the island. Everyone in his place. The captain on one side, Cat on the other, and me. Well, I've been to the whaling station, I have. What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. <laughs> Thank you for the Passed hydrate, out. M. I should get more water. Still have some in here, but I should refill it. Hold on a second. Y'all hydrate as well. Get, get a drink. Drink some water. Water drunk, water got. Thank you, Nem. What's this? He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. <sighs> Dr. Colden? Hi. <laughs> Hello, that is me. I am Dr. Colden. Um, I've already forgotten the lady's name that I'm supposed to find. It's fine, I'm sure. What is the boiler room key doing here? The key to the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. Okay, well, I should take it, the right? The boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. You know what? Actually, let's leave that open so I know that it's there. Can I climb this? No. You fine. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Sounds like another fish man. Got. Oh! Sorry, I just realized he's like covered in blood. Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. She hasn't, she hasn't injected him. He's gonna punch me in the face. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White cloth. Evidently because of such drooling. His binds left bloody wounds. So, Doctor, what should we do with this patient? Those basement brutes tied him up too tight and now he's hurt. I keep trying to heal his wounds, but he reopens them. Do you have a diploma as a nurse? Excuse me? So take care of this man. Damn! We really said buck up. Do your job. <laughs> Dr. Colden? Okay, well, I, I, I didn't see... It's a quiet little town. 
Days go Lit. by, steady as ever. I want okay. more for myself, but... <gasps> Hi! Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? Yes. <laughs> Only you, to me. You are a bad liar. I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. Is that all? Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Tell me. I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. Sorry. <laughs> so many people have this affliction. It's like the level of annoyance I have with the think it might be no one's seen it as, the as bad as I've seen it's yet, like but I will figure all this out come off it everyone in dark water is suffering from nightmares really we don't have any medication left oh there's no excuse then I should let you work take care Ethan you too Marie I don't get why they have us waiting so long Almost no patient. Is everything all right, Ethan? Yeah, I just... <gasps> I just see... I know I should go. I will work until late. Oh. All right. Hmm. How's it going, friend? How are you doing? Go. I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. My God. Dr. Colden. Okay, um... I was going to try and find the lady, but I've forgotten her name. Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. In theory, this is where we hang the key to the boiler room. Okay, but I know where the key to the boiler room is. Because I, I found it already. Colden, we need you at once in dormitory B. What is the problem? Mr. Evans seems to be having trouble with his IV. I've done an exam. Deborah is looking after him. And the family of Mrs. Harding is asking to see her medical file. I'll never understand why it's so hard to see patients' files around here. Rules are rules. See, with Dr. Fuller, he's in charge. Anyhow, they're still waiting, and I don't think they'll leave until they get what they want. Mm. Understood. I did. As a I went to yes. Sanders' house with the a paintings. Man has been brought up from the basement. I saw him. Yes. It was neat. I got it's stuck the same thing. for a minute trying they to figure out how I was supposed to deal with the creature that was there. <laughs> but we figured it out. We got we there. The wounds, and then they leave. Each time, I feel like I'm sending them back to hell. But it was a cool section. I liked it. You cannot save everybody, Doctor. Ma'am, we're not trying to save everybody. We're trying to, like, keep them from getting hurt this in man, our facility. Edward Pierce. His file is incomplete. Uh, Shambler was cool. I like I like the, the design of the monster. I'm a sucker for good monster design, though. Uh, the file is strangely incomplete, and the detail on treatment is not given. It does not respect standard practice. Wait, that was Pierce's file. Okay. Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Okay, that's fine. Please, the fewer interruptions there are, the faster I'll be finished. I just want to look. I don't want to take anything. I just want to look. You dig? The <gasps> operating room is never accessible after an operation. There's somebody in there, though. Who is that and what are they doing? Hi. Can't talk to man. Can't talk to that man. 
Let's hope I can go through the administration office. No. Can't talk to him. There's administration. Before we do that. who pays what a pest elizabeth you all right why is this room in such a state the way she's because pouring it out always i'm cleaning it by myself and the water was once again shut off this morning i had to bother mrs donovan again giving her a new excuse to belittle me no do you really need mrs donovan to open a valve why not ask the janitor? Oh, so that's totally I can't cool. Make these no. Without her approval. <laughs> no issues, Jesse. It's nice to see you here. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she settled the problem. Here, Let's let me go get you the boiler courage, room key. Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, if I help you. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Okay. But yeah, if I go get her the key to the boiler room, do you think she'll help me break into uh, Fuller's office? Because that would be cool. He's over here. The key to the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. Yeah, well, what can I do? <laughs> Why can't I pick it up? Mm. Okay, that's fine. We can start looking through administration at the very least. What's in here? Vents? Bad, terrible, awful vents? Unfortunately, we don't have to cl uh, climb through them. So, you know, love that for me. More medical books. I feel like it's so easy to miss things in this game. And I don't want to miss anything. Even though I know I already have. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Um, Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured. She's I'll so tell wiggly. Him that won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Oh, you would. What if I... I feel like I should be able to get that boiler room key. Any topic. I didn't Unless I can get... Everything all right, Dr. Colden? All is well, Elizabeth. Thank you. I was making sure the water wasn't cut off yet again. Thank God, no. The water's running. I have no desire to call Donovan for help. Courage, Elizabeth. Okay. Hi, Devo. I have to shut the water off so that she has to go bother Donovan. Which is unfortunate, and I don't like... The door to the boiler room is locked. Can Where I get... did I see that key? Can I get oh, the key yes. now? The office in Block B. No, it's... No, it's not in the office. It's it's here. It's in this drawer. Game, I don't think you understand that I've already looked around and explored everywhere and found the thing. Let me take the key. Oh. In theory, this is where we hang the key to the boy doctor. Those people need you at the dormitory. I'll take I'm it. Going. Don't worry. Okay, well, can I pick up the key to the boiler room now?
Thank you. The icon didn't even change. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Okay, before we do that, though... So, Doctor, have you been able to examine our mother? Pardon me, but could... We're waiting on news regarding our mother. More... She came Maureen in with Harding. a kidney Okay. I'm sorry, but I... They're taking us... Maureen Harding. Where is she? There was only one lady here. It's this lady. Ah, so there's Harding. She's still sleeping. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Laura was able to save her kidney. Okay, now I can go inform them about what happened. Hey! So, Doctor, have you been able to examine our mother? I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. You're welcome. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. All right, cool. Great. I got an achievement for that. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it was particularly necessary to actually do, but you know what? I feel good about it. We've done a nice thing today. Let's open that up. Oh, it's gross in here. Oh, it's gross in here. Oh, this is a bad room. Mm. Mm. You gonna go I get your boyfriend to do it? My bare hands. I need a tool. Oh, or we can pick up a tool. Your boyfriend's kind of a tool. <laughs> Hey, Capo. Is everything all right, Ethan? Yeah, I just. I will work into. Oh. Never mind. Ethan can't help me. <gasps> I can come in here now, though. So. There. We found tool. Tool got. All right, so let's go turn off that water then. Dang. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Um, hey, where's Elizabeth? Where's she hanging out? Can I open this? That's just a toilet. <laughs> there is nothing here. Oh! Oh, there's another item in here. I see. I understand. Or another, uh... Can you not dump your that ash into the soup? Where is Elizabeth? Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Thanks, thanks Elizabeth! <laughs> Taking one for the team. We'll just Last. the missing file. Get on in here. Yet. Not even an issue. Look at how good we're doing. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. W and S. It's officially June. Hey. 
Oh no, it's one of I the never minds. Patient <laughs> here, I, here I was being like, oh god, this is gonna be horrible and terrible. I'm gonna have an issue making this happen. Nah. Nah, we got it. Two moves. But yeah, it's officially June. We are hitting that halfway point. That's what you do best. Of the year. What are you doing? Oh, do I need to Am I No, get get in there. I'm missing something, aren't I? That's how I get out. That's locked. Oh, you want me to listen to it now? Here, in here. You want me to listen to this in here? Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally. This finger belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? Yeah, what? <laughs> it goes without saying that these peculiar diseases are the saddest portion of the whole ghastly thing. That's a shoe? Can I look at this? Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presumed that. Poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then, then, Mr. Henry, I wonder what Charles is keeping secret from you. I presume that he has brought his wife into the bedroom in your own room. Hmm. There we go. Why is Ethan on medication? I want to look at the shoe. Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It is your shoe, Fitzroy, that the presence of mine has helped in more than the ghastly thing. In order for us to get the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her remains. Look at it now. Of course. Sarah Hawkins is the connection. Okay. Should probably leave before we get caught. I must go back to the basement. Okay, well. It's time to go. It's basement time! Time for a basement! Let's go! Well, um, can I... In theory, this is where we have the key to the boiler room. <gasps> Ethan is gone. Where was... I think that scream scared me. <laughs> Thought someone was was catching on to what I was doing. Okay, let's go down here. The bad basement where everything is horrible and awful. And see what we see. I'm very scared for Dr. Golden. I am afraid that she is uh She's gonna get caught and grabbed, and we'll never hear from her ever again. Hello! Ah, now the 
that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. Oh. Well, it happened. If you're gonna shoot, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. Wait, is that the dude from the bar? Talk, Who is like... filthy thief. Oh, I swear I'll shoot. Yeah, it is. Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead. No. He was here for a very specific item. Oof. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. I don't. How foolish of you. Excuse me. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? I'm not a master of the occult. She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins. Right? Book. I like I like Sarah Hawkins, you Dr. Say. Colden. She's Let's cool. go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. Yeah, I... All right. All right. I you trust man. After all. Perfect. I mean, Let's he's probably going to die, but you know. Mansion. Now go. We Let's also thought we also Thank thought you. Cop was going to die and Ethan's still around. I like Algernon. He's got a cool name. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry. I'm very tired. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get like some, some decent sleep tonight. <laughs> also, how many chapters are there in this? Fourteen chapters. We're at chapter nine. Oh dang! Oh dang! Let's go. I pray that. Colden is really here and alive. I figured we were like, I don't know. I figured we were probably like nearing like the halfway point or something, but we're definitely much further along than I thought we were. <laughs> uh, diary of Reverend Wickwood's wife. Her husband, John built the first Hawkins home called Hilltop at the end of the 17th century. They were among the first white colonists of the island. Previous inhabitants disappeared mysteriously three centuries earlier. An old diary. I'm kind of glad that it's not, honestly. Like, I know some people get mad when games are short and stuff, but How I just feel like, especially with something like this, um, if you drag it out, it just ends up not being fun. Would you read the book? Read the book. Look, it's the Shambler. Collection catalogs and classifies creatures that I have never heard of. Divinities from the stars. Creatures capable of traveling from one dimension to another. Presents itself as the reference work of the bestiary of the myth. Without giving details on the mythology to which it refers. Its pages are covered with phantasmagorical uh, illustrations. Well, my occultism is, uh, is moving on up. Also... Go ahead and become heckin' eloquent. <laughs> um, let's also increase our investigation. 
kind of been letting that sit there for a while. Not so worried about strength. Um, let's turn that off. Never mind, I guess we need what it. The... Fuller, too. Everyone. Everyone, buddy. What if we... I don't like the uh the lighter as much as Priscilla is here. Like in the vision. Colin came this way. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like the lighter nearly as much as the lamp, but I also don't know when I'm gonna be getting uh Right. When I'm gonna get more oil, so Colden needs me. I must find her. Can I get caught here? Mm. Oh! <laughs> oh no! My God, what what is happening to me? Well, that's a problem. Also, the game says I have to use. What was that? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. What happened? Something has changed, but what? What? What, what, what? Give me that. I am confused. Ooh. Pseudoscientific work by Caesar Lombroso correlates an individual's morphology with his criminal predispositions. The seriousness of the study and the accuracy of the demonstrations can deceive an uninformed reader. Is that what I needed? there anything in here that I can steal? Because <laughs> I would like to steal all of the things. Imagine that. That's That's gotta be everything, right? It's like Clearly, I can't go through there. Most of these doors are blocked. If they're not open, then they're non-existent. So maybe we swap these out again? Oh. Where have I seen this symbol? That's kind of cool. Not there. No, I didn't mean to go through there. Or, or maybe I did. Maybe I did mean to go through there. Hello? Hi, it's dark and scary. That doesn't do anything. So can I take this and... Hmm. No. Oh, wait. Am I supposed to find a symbol that matches the one that I just located oh 
that doesn't seem right. Or maybe it does? No, because I've just looped around. Go through here. Going through there just resets everything, correct? So what can I find? around here that can help me. Can we go in there? Okay, this is, yeah. Yeah. Hard for me to tell where I've been and where I haven't been. That's okay. I don't think we've been in here. But I've now opened the door, so I should be able to access it with the other lamp. Yeah. I understand. Okay, so we can't do anything here, so let's go in here. And find us that other this lamp. It is trapped. These have been cleared now, though, right? Yeah, they have. All right, I'm I'm piecing it together. <laughs> Again, sometimes I'm just a, a little slow on the uptake, but we get there eventually. That's fine. Doesn't seem like there's anything in here for me, though. But there were a couple of other places that had that same symbol. I just need to find where they are. Here. They're here. This is pretty neat. I wasn't certain at first, but I do like this section. So far, at least. We'll see how it holds up. <laughs> um. Why is our heart beating? Hey, buddy. Are we good? I am concerned. Was it just getting too dark for us? Was that the issue? Is there anything else I can look at with this lamp? Because it kind of seems like my options were out with the other one. There's a there's another threshold there. I see, I understand. Okay. Whoa! 
Is it here? Was that not just a scripted thing? Okay, I ran out of... Ran out of light. How am I supposed to... Get there? Nope. Okay. That's why we were panicking. Because our light was running out. Where... It was here. powers that surpass you. I mean, I get it. We're not supposed to be in the dark for very long. But also, I wish this oil didn't get used up as quick as it does. You know? Nope. Where is our next point? On the other side of this wall. How do I get to the other side of this wall? I'm gonna get God again. Okay, um... I need my good lamp. I need my other lamp. Where's the other lamp? There it is. Having to loop back constantly is kind of frustrating. Um. Because I keep not knowing where I'm going. You know? Like, because it keeps resetting my position, I, I keep forgetting, like, where I was. It's a neat concept. Um, it could have just been slightly better executed. <laughs> like, especially since, like, the... When you're using your actual lamp, the one that uses up oil, it is still so dark that kind of keeping track of where you are is, is difficult. Um... And then because it resets your position once you go through the door. I think I know where I am. Okay. It's fine. It's just like it's just a touch clunky. I think is is my issue with it. But it is neat. And I do appreciate the fact that we were able to explore the area as Holden before, so we get something of an idea of the layout of the hospital, but even then it's still so oddly laid out <laughs> that it can be uh, a mite difficult. So it's fine. Jesus, fuck. Go away. Rude. Rude, 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 rude. <sighs> Can't just jump at me like that, my guy. Listen. Do it? It looks like things are back to normal. Okay. That 
that could have been worse, honestly. <laughs> but definitely not my favorite. Cool concept. Not the worst means of handling it, but definitely a little a little clunky, a little roundabout. Kind of feels a bit like padding. If we're being honest. Golden. Oh. Can't use a lamp or anything. What's going on? It never ends. Yeah. That's... that's me. Uh, oh God. Uh. They really blooper team me. Come on. Hey. Hey, Edward. Uh. Edward, it's fine. It's fine. Listen, we'll get out. We're gonna be okay. We just gotta... we gotta take a moment and chill out, alright? Don't worry. It's okay. See? See? See, we just need her to take a moment and relax. Pierce, I found her. I know it can be really overwhelming. You must live and find the truth. It is already too late for me. Cold and tickles. Hi, Sam. What's going on? <laughs> Was it a How's it going, friend? How are you doing? Ugh. Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. Isn't she, I'll be isn't she with great? You in a moment. I also love her. <laughs> Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. You got good Emmy art. I think the <laughs> the rainbow one is my favorite. It's just so horribly cursed. Oh no! It can't be. No. Oh no! You son of a bitch. What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. <laughs> I'm glad you like the emotes because I also really enjoy them. I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for all your friends. You should envy her. <laughs> Perfect. Murder. This madness must stop. <gasps> Are we killing the doctor? Do it. Do it. Fucking do it. <gasps> I love the sparkles. Do it. Colden, no! Colden. Colden? Listen, I'm peak queen clown over here, alright? <laughs> I do love the sparkles next to it, though. Oh, jeez. Why, oh, jeez. Oh. What is happening? What's happening? Why are we we making you walk ten seconds before we get another cutscene? I don't want to be down here. I don't want to be down here. It's bad here. Oh, look at me! <gasps> the painting moved!
Is Sarah down here? Is that what we're understanding? Sarah Hawkins isn't dead. She's just locked up. Yeah. What did they do to you? Damn, girl, you live like this? Sorry. <laughs> I gave him the gold and I... He was zero. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I'm... Ill, but no. No. Let's get you out of here. He comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. And violent living, vibrant. The sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. What? <gasps> Hi, Fruity. We got new emote. E emotes? Emotes. I have seen the same color. It was not as vivid as you said. A pale copy. New, new chromotes. Do you know what it was? Tell me. I can't. We should not call his name. How's it going, Terrible. friend? How are you doing? Terrible consequences. <laughs> All right. Come with me. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go before your husband finds us. Time to go! It was in your studio. What? You painted me. <laughs> That's where you saw me. Of course. Good, good clowns. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. Can't hurry though. Listen. What the? Cursed clown can be can be baby too. This way. What? 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 That was a dead end. Um. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Um. Glad you're doing well, though. Studio. <laughs> you painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. <laughs> the men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. Where am I supposed to run to once these dudes notice me? What? Can't sneak past. Hmm. Nope. I'm out of your dumb hiding hole. <laughs> Where did we go? Don't make me keep doing this. Studio. What? Let me get past her. That's where you saw me. Of course. Is this? The door? The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all very happy about this, which is great because I feel like most of us were on the cusp of rioting. You won't get far. Why am I walking? 
Come out of your hiding hole. Why can't it? Where am I supposed to go? I'm so glad that our flag means death got uh got approved for a second season. I need it now. I need it immediately. You painted me. That's where you saw me. Immediately. Questionable choice in decoration. You mean the guards? It's just gay pirates. That's what the that's what the show's called. Gay pirates. <laughs> what it is now. This is where I'm supposed to go. I tried to go here and it ended up in a a dead end. The first time. Oh my god. Yeah, it's just called Gay Pirates. Wait. The machine. It's the green. The decaying one. The gas. Yes. It's not good for living beings. I mean, I could have told you, you that, ma'am. time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it. Okay. Okay, we can do that. We can do this. I need you to walk a little faster, though. If you would. Let's go. Oh. I'd be better off finding a tool. I'd rewatch it with you. Slash, also, would love to rewatch. <laughs> it's so good. I may have downloaded the, uh, the breakup rope pattern. All right. That should do it. So that I can make up, make a, a breakup robe at some point. Because I would like to. Um. I want to buy the fabric that matches the actual one, but I do have a lot of, like, really good fabric just sitting around that would make very cute, very cute breakup robes. You're my wife. My wife. You owe me obedience. <laughs> Ew! This man! It's not his appearance I'm ewing at, it's the... You owe me obedience. No thank you, sir. Get out of here. I could. I could probably add it to throne. This is true. Consider. I was gonna buy it for myself at some point. Probably like in a paycheck or two. Um. But if somebody wanted to gift me it so I could make some, make ourselves a breakup robe, I'd wear it all the time. Sir, get your tents off of me! No! Why should I let you take her away when I could snap your neck? All you did for her safety was throwing her in this rat hole! <coughs> I hid her Hi, Isaac. Well enough. It's tent man! You let Fuller play with her! Stop! I did everything I could to protect her, but her identity, her power, is what threatens her. It is ten tickles, man. What? This feels Serious like a few more than ten, though. Has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Would you still see <laughs> her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? Yes. It was her magic. The bookstore. How do you know that? <laughs> it does not. Look, we're here matter. for it. Ten tickles for the tentacles. Man, can you stop choking me? Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave dark water. She would still hear his call. And the cult will always be here, waiting for her. 
content, we get rid of its members. You are out of your league, detective. They control the whole. Yeah, but you could say it again. She will finally <laughs> surrender. Consider to power, and the world will fall <laughs> with her. Don't. No one I mean, I'm here for it if it's if it's octopus. Destiny, they say, but I will. We're so wiggly all of the time. <gasps> Damn, Sarah's got moves. Thanks, Sarah. Anyone up for some calamari? Bruh. <laughs> Y'all gonna fall into the fire together? Or just ask the man a question. Okay, but you should take the axe. Have you considered taking the axe with you? Hey, we should take the axe with us. Hey, consider. <laughs> take the axe. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't want to... I didn't want to take the axe with me or anything anyway. It's fine. No parent should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt never go away I feel your pain I'll do anything to get him back anything my work was what lured me here in the first place began showing me things That a child could never have been. What am I to you? I took care of you, saved you from your miserable light. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. Yikes. I will leave now. Man is on fire. Dang. <laughs> That was the, uh, the groundskeeper, wasn't it? Sorry. Come on. It's over now. Can we get this lady, like, some clothes? <laughs> so she's not just running around in a straitjacket? Ah. 
I got character points. Let's go. Okay, before we talk to anyone, we've got four points to spend, actually. Five. Let's go ahead and increase that. That was teeth. We did see some teeth. Teeth. Six points for that. I need six points for that. Let's go ahead and boost our eloquence. Um, I have missed quite a few things, but that's okay. Hey, people are dead. Everyone's dead. Unfortunate. Do that, and then clear out our inventory. Great. Let's go talk to Sarah Hawkins. Oh, good. Someone's given her clothes. We were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? Thanks, Algernon. This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Edward! Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. Okay. Hey. Whoa! You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. Okay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. Um. You've been friends for a long time, hiding each other's secrets. I trust him. What are you planning to do? I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about yeah, what you, tell you want him. or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world. Just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. Mm. You can't give up. Even knowing the stakes. Yes. Thank you. Still, gummies. I won't let you go. I'm so excited what? for the gummy hunt. <laughs> you will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks, and we may all survive this battle. All okay. right. I'll help you. Okay. I need to talk to Algernon. But before I do that, we got some books. He said he was in Hawkins' office? Charles's office? Where is that? I don't know where that is. Here? No, this is Sarah's. But I've been through all this, right? There's nothing new here. Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? Can I look at this again? What kind of ritual was she preparing? 
was the painting of the Shambler displayed here. Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. She was trying to send back the shell. Okay, that makes sense. Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. Hmm. Yeah. Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. Okay. This is just the kids' bedroom. I don't need to be in there. This is... a bedroom. Not what I need either. Okay... Where is Charles's office? I just want to find Algernon so I can talk to him, see what kind of sketchy shit he's up to. Hello? Oh, Sorry, hey, buddy. Ah, it's you, Pierce. I'm just worried about Marie. Sam? I mean, Dr. Colwyn. Have you had any news? Hey, buddy. I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure Am I? what happened. But I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... I honestly have a turn, like... You sure I think my... got nothing to do with it? <laughs> I think my follower count is hidden at the moment. You. Just because she of how my, my be shit alive. is set up. We at 399? What am I gonna do at 400? Exactly. That's too much. That's too many people. 400 of you do not need to know about me. <laughs> um, let's do let's do an eloquence test. Colden would have wanted you to help. Fuller is just a link in the chain. 400 minutes of that's the gummy hunt. 24 hours stream fighting against this monster of gex no he killed her no Pierce. don't presume to understand her motivation how easily can you find gummies in bethesda in, in a bethesda game we must do something for those who are still can alive. i find gummies in skyrim sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active we also not me just talking over the stupid cop his death will have been in vain you're uh a voice of reason, Pierce. As always. <laughs> I need to know if we can actually see the gummies and not just not just put ourselves inside their faces. There's a difference between clipping through the character and being able to see those delicious little gummies. That is true. You will see gummies if you play long enough. <laughs> Fair point. Nah, I mean, we'll, we can definitely do, like, a long stream at some point. I'll need to figure out what to do for that, though. Look, if we end up getting to 400 before Saturday, we'll just we'll just tack on a celebration with the gummy hunt. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll actually make it, like, a 12-hour dealio. Because at the moment, I was just kind of going to kind of, like, stream for however long I wanted to. But, uh... <laughs> Seeing you again. It's true. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't no, care. No, I need to talk to you, think. buddy. Your usefulness is what I'm here for. How do we protect <laughs> Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? Any any good Charles offers Hawkins. for yogurt, Daddy? Of, of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something, an amulet. The symbol oh my goodness. engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? 
we are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. <laughs> Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. Fair enough. Um... What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? I see that you are interested in my precious. I book. keep choosing <laughs> it is a definitive book of knowledge the options of the in a different language, and it Written keeps telling Abdul me my my destiny it has changed. Answer to many a question. That is why it's which so is probably not bothered. great. Yes, and even though it is a copy given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the work remains very powerful. I understand better why you keep it in a safe. Um. The dagger with the strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Sir, these words mean nothing why? to me. Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. <laughs> he might wear items such as the dagger. But I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean okay. that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more permanent solution. It must like murder? Come back. Uh, a dimensional this Shambler? Creature, the Shambler. What is it? It's a shambler. It's a hunter. Shambler it is shambler. From one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality. Mm -hmm. And we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. Mm -hmm. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it. But for that, I must approach the creature. And to be able to oh, do excuse so, me. I need the key to free it. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection. <laughs> able to repel very ancient forces. Much more effective than your cult. What does yeah, it look okay. like? It is a golden amulet. Bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center. A star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. Gib. I'll follow this lead. Gib. Gib. To do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. Sketch of a bust. I feel like I have seen this one somewhere around here. Okay. Um, is it... The... The top floor of the library that I've seen it? Hmm. Is it that one? No, there's no beard. I need one with a beard. Bust with a beard. Excuse me, bust with a beard. Where are you? Hello? Little statue. This is where we started. This isn't where it is. Okay, that's fine. 
I thought I had started on the second floor, but I had not. So let's check over here. Bust? You! I know where that one is. That one's over here. Also, I like how the paper was just like in the ear of the statue as if nobody would notice that. Is it really just like out in the open? This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. This will affect my destiny. Looks like it goes great for us. I'm not concerned. Um get that eloquence up. You know what? No, actually. increase our psychology I want more occult points but I have to find stuff for that which is kind of why I've been like taking my time and trying to locate things it's pretty high all things considered no master but that's fine hey Algernon it's you again. Yeah, I found the thing. Don't get snippy with me. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. Let's go. Miss Hawkins. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand. I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you've convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Uh oh. Bradley, you take care of Stella. I will read it. Sure. All right. Uh oh. I've been hearing about you a lot in the week. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got it. Great, Kate. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Gates. I am concerned. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Thanks for stopping in and saying hi, Sam. I love you too. That's not Take the care. I don't care about your stories. Save them for the this is a problem. We are as cops. We base our investigation on facts and testimonies. <laughs> the cursed baby. Try that next time. You know that. Hi. We're leaving now. <laughs> This is fine, I'm sure. Definitely nothing to be concerned about. This is only chapter 10? That was all chapter 9? Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was much longer than I thought it was going to be. 
That's okay. We only have four chapters left, though. You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. Okay, I can pause. Um, I think we're gonna take a short break, though, because it is... I've been streaming for almost three hours and need to use the restroom and stretch a little bit. So we'll take a couple minute break and then we'll come back and, and play more of this. See what happens. Yeah, yeah. Uh, take this time to get some water, grab a snack if you haven't recently, stretch if you also haven't done that. Um, I'll have words on stream up for y'all if you wanna do that, but you know, we'll be back shortly. <laughs> We ready? We ready? All good. Told you it wouldn't take me that long. It appears that you've been involved <laughs> in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. Misdemeanors, misdemeanors. Twice, aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. What does insulting behavior entail? Listen, Chief West, I realize that I'm in your jurisdiction and that you don't like guys like me. However, I think that these accusations are exaggerated and that we would benefit from working together. If that means a confession from you and therefore less paperwork for me, then we've got a deal. That's not what that means. But I'm serious. Can't you see what's going on right under your nose? Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? How do we present this? Oh, You'd be you have better papers. Off taking an interest in Dr. Fuller. The experiments he carries out on his patients are as inhuman as they are illegal. And when Dr. Colden wanted to put a stop to it, she too went under the knife. What are you talking about? Nobody's reported any wrongdoings. Dr. Fuller is a man who is as much respected and admired on the island as he is in his profession. It seems like you've got a grievance against him. Is that why you set fire to his institute? But, I'm sir, admitting I... nothing at all. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. 
I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I thought hope maybe that if I had the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced questioning. Oh my god, I have no fucking cops. Good night, Mr. Pierce. Alright, how do we get out of here? <laughs> Mr. Pierce, the truth seeker. We meet at last. Leviathan, where are you? Who's there? It's Leviathan, read the captions, buddy. Hey, hey, I can't swim. I can't swim. Hi. <laughs> hope hope y'all are are thirsty. Which I came to share with you, human. Yeah? Thanks. Do not struggle. You will not be able to speak or escape my influence. I can see your mouth, the mouth gummies. You know what? Let's just submit. Your mind has begun to expand. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Your dreams have been gently don't, shifted don't answer that. I, I know. They call you Oracle. But it is your curiosity and your fate that have led you up to this moment. You are here to accept the knowledge and follow the path that leads to your freedom. Mm-hmm. This is an offer that the likes of you, particularly those with such rare characteristics, cannot refuse. You call me rare? The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive hey, boss. the truth, the closer How's it going, friend? How are you doing? Embrace his power. Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? <gasps> Show me. You like to see her? Yes. 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 Accept the knowledge. Is she, Is she not the very object of your quest? I'll let you see for yourself. But do not forget. Your fate has already been. Yeah, I'm aware. I've been I've been seeing things shaping my destiny. It's fine. Oh, it's very bright. You know the risk, Kim. If you happen to use your powers again, you you may lose more than your life. It is not about me, but innocent lives. I hope that your sources are reliable. The bootleggers have retained them. If the dimensional shambler is to appear as she will do it here. The shambler. I knew it. Right on cue. No. Not again. <laughs> oh. Oh, I get to play as Sarah now. Algernon, come back. Where did he go? Is that where they want me to go? If that's the case, I want to go down here. <laughs> I'd like to just leave. Okay, well, there's nothing down here. I do like that we get to like play as the different characters, see what's going on with them. Where is Algernon? And the Shambler. Who's that? It's cat. It's lady. Bootlegger. That's a dead man. This is a problem. <laughs> hmm. No way back. No 
Okay, this could potentially be a problem. There are a lot of dead people around here, actually. Ooh, and I do have a lamp. Cool, 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 cool. Go here? No. There's the painting. But what good is that if I don't have the dagger to deal with it? You dig? Hey, y'all. We partying over here? Okay, maybe I don't like Cat actually. Open! Open! Open up! Open this door! Well, there's a snack for the Shambler. Wrinkly boy! Man is dead. Oh, <laughs> same hat. Yeah, I think I think he died. <laughs> okay. Are you sure you want to do it? Let's go. Quickly, come with me. What are we, Algernon? What are we doing? Like, I know we're trying to stop him, but also. Shambler can open breaches between dimensions. He uses glyphs as anchors to stay in our world. Then I must destroy these glyphs. Exactly. How can I find them? I will make the glyphs visible so you can revoke them. By doing so, this zone will be protected by a barrier. Perfect. Stay inside the shield. I'll create the protective barrier. Get back inside it as soon as you sense the slightest danger. Okay. Um the first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. Well, this is How many are there? Kind of unfortunate. Cuz I Like, will I see it before I find it with my lamp? Or... Or what? Hey, Algernon, I need a little bit more, uh... The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. I swear to God, if you're gonna do this the entire time, we're gonna have a problem, buddy. Okay, well, there is oil everywhere, so that's good. But, uh, <laughs> I haven't actually. Didn't think about that. Is there? It should react to the light if you use your lamp. Sir? I think I'll try and check the floor. That seems like maybe a good option. Something I should consider doing. Must have appeared somewhere on the floor. I don't like that audio distortion. This is a little awful. Find that symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use Listen, Algernon. Hey, bud. isn't this, is it? Okay, I didn't think so, but I wanted to double check. I've already been up there. The first must have 
it somewhere on the floor. I need some oil. Where? Oil where? Where oil? Find that symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. Listen, pal. Gonna need you to not talk to me every ten seconds. Okay. This is horrible and I hate this. The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. There is a lot of floor? Hey! We got a lot of floor around here. Right. <laughs> Find symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. It's actually on the ceiling? He says the floor, but he means the ceiling. He's he he thinks it's a a funny thing to do while we're fighting for our lives to pull this joke where he says it's one place and it's actually somewhere else entirely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> Where? Where? <laughs> Find that symbol, Sarah. It should Again, the way that you solve that puzzle is by killing one and then asking the other if if the one that you killed is dead, then you'll know. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. He doesn't have eyeballs. Hey, Algernon. Must have appeared somewhere on the floor. Okay. It's not up here. Find that symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. It's not up here. Unless I'm supposed to do like this constantly everywhere, in which case, no, I hate that. I need more oil again. Ugh. This is terrible. That's not where the oil is. Oil is over here? Oil is... Find that symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light oil. if you use your lamp. Oil is here. Hey, pal. I'll never forgive myself for this painting. I mean, they'll be must have appeared somewhere on the floor. I'll at least know what to look for with with the later glyphs. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Like I'm wandering around. I got my light pointed at the ground. So where is where is glyph? Why is Glyph not here? Guy, I'm doing that. I need an example of what of what Glyph looks like. I understand why you don't trust Wizard now. It all makes sense. I think I'm must have appeared somewhere on the floor. I think I'm, I'm, uh, about ready to join you in this Never Trust Wizards. Because 
the fuck is this? The fuck is this? Find that symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. I'm using my lamp, Algernon. Hey, pal. Make your glyph more obvious. I need some oil. Like. Right. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look to see what this is supposed to look like at the very least because I don't. I, I don't understand. Um. Uh, hold on. None of these seem helpful. None of these seem particularly helpful. Maybe I watch a video. Maybe we watch a video about this. Maybe I watch a video about this real quick. Let me just play some music while I'm watching this. Excuse me. Ugh. Oh. I just want to know what these look like, buddy. That's all. Um. <laughs> oh no. That's honestly like all I'm trying to look for is like what they look like. I think I've found what it looks like though. Hold on a second. Slash. The first might must have appeared somewhere on the floor. It's there. This place looks the same. Everything looks the same. If I put this away, I can still see it. I can't move it. Is it acting against me? The ritual is working. Don't worry. It's just until I ward it off. Oh no! The wanderer is back. Oh. Fuck off. Okay. The second symbol has been revealed. You know what you have right. to do, Sarah. <laughs> it's not just on the floor. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. Um what if it finds me, though? Gonna give me a bad hint about where it is? When they say floor, I assume this, not this necessarily. Let's press on. Okay, so no, no, like... Not even a generalized, like, oh, it could be on the wall! Bad. Horrible. I don't like this. <laughs> Hey. Found it. Must be here somewhere. Look closely. That is what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Does this not actually get rid of it? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. So that just slows it down. It doesn't banish it even temporarily, like... 
like it suggested it did. The symbol has been revealed. You know what you have to do, Sarah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Where is it? That's fine. The second blip must have appeared. You startled me, my friend. I have the impression that Sarah is here. Okay, well, we can try and anticipate our actions all at once. That is what I'm doing. Ah! I'm stuck on a corner! Oh my god. Okay, so I have to slow it down with my stupid little... I don't like this. Far too quick, but also incredibly slow. The scent is getting stronger and more aggressive. If it catches up with you, try blinding it. Yeah, I understand. I mean, I don't. Game saved. All right. When matters get complicated, I must breach the barrier to ward off the creature. You have to lure it in front of me, Sarah. Do you understand? Once it goes after you, I need you to guide it towards me. So wait, is this the last one? Sarah, only one glyph left to find. Okay, but but Algernon, what if it finds me? <laughs> what then? <laughs> no, that's the old one that we got rid of. There it is. The glyph is near. I'm sure of it. Forgive myself for this painting. Well done, sir. Did I do it? Get him, Algernon. Oh, you want me to use the painting? Wasn't sure what I was doing there for a second. <laughs> no! I can't do anything. I couldn't move. I wasn't allowed to do anything. I just had to stand there. Well. Bye, 
Algernon. That's what you get for making me do this stupid task. Unless you're sealing it, in which case, touch it. I'm not sure what she's trying to do, though. Is it fine? <gasps> Chapter 11! Think we can finish this in 45 minutes? <laughs> think we can get through three chapters in 45 minutes Sarah Hawkins why did she do it damn it did you gonna let me out enjoy our hospitality let me out of here I'm warning you Pierce I want a short and clear-cut confession no. Will you admit your guilt in the case brought before you? You don't have any idea what's happening on this damn island. Chief West, we got a problem. Damn it, not now. What is it this time? Captain Fitzroy, Chief. Some guys have ransacked Roy's bar. They went berserk, <gasps> attacked the patrons, smashed the place up. It's chaos. This is only the beginning. Let me out. Let me in! Take a look. Tell Sullivan and Marshall to keep this one nice and warm till I get back. Are you stupid? Don't you understand? Those goddamn idiots. Oh. I guess I'm gonna go sleep. <laughs> I take nap right here. Not like there's anything else I can do. <gasps> Hi, Leviathan. My pal! Find you again. My buddy! As promised, I come back to reiterate the offer of truth. As your mind expands and finally understands. I'm fully ready to just embrace it and go absolutely mad with knowledge. Are you ready to see your world and the ones that live in it? As they truly are. Yo. Um. Come on, truth seeker. I couldn't click on them like I usually do. I had to hit E. Struggle, buddy. We're fine. Our whole world is a sore spot for that dead cat. Fighting. Surviving. However, your cat is still on loose. It's all your fault. You could have stopped this whole thing. Where are you, buddy? The one who did. Me. You're all in danger. Around your head. Well, dang! Can I see other things in the other cells? Or is it just that one? It's just that one. Okay, I understand.
that, Bradley, how, how should I tell you that you shouldn't be alive? How do I tell you that? Okay. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Dom, what happened? Come, they want to hear what these two Egypts have to say. This better be interesting. Seems like someone decided to grant you your deepest wish. A mutiny? <laughs> Worse, they killed Chief West. What? And left his body in one of our warehouses. You're kidding. They're all yours. Which one of you was dumb enough to kill a cop and throw him on my doorstep? <laughs> we don't know nothing. The dead body in my warehouse disagrees. We swear, miss, it's not us. I don't have time for this. Spill it. We've got nothing to do with it. I want to know everything about the corpse over there. It's considering punching them. The same end. If we speak to you, we're dead. If we don't speak to you, we're dead. What? No. Listen, miss. We didn't see what happened, but we heard. And noises and talkings, like... We've been betrayed. Uh -huh. By whom? Go. Look at the body. You'll find out for yourself. Interesting. Let's go, Dom. Where is this workshop? I'll go with you. You must be talking about the old boat repair workshop. Okay. Yeah, they've done nothing wrong. Apart from killing a cop on our turf. That's hooey. I like how practically all those men have the same model. Quieten these lunkheads down before I shiv the lot of them. I'll take care of them. A bunch of liquor sponges aren't going to lay down the law around here. I'll take a look at this workshop. Join me when you're finished. Some of the insults they're throwing around. Liquor sponges. Corpse, 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 corpse. Where is the corpse? Wanna see your body? Show me the body. Where is the body? There's the body. If someone had told me that one day West's work would kill him. Time to reconstruct. Let's see what's going on. Someone moved the corpse here. Where did the murder happen? Hmm. Well, we could follow the blood trail to find out. Down the stairs. But also, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything, because I feel like it's very easy to miss things with these. So... So this is where West was killed. What's that? What the fuck is that? 
Where did it come from? Octoman! Alone. Who were those guys? There's only one man who smokes these gaspers. Fitzroy. Fitzroy would be a cultist. I mean, I, th I think we knew that. <laughs> You're not supposed to be here, truth seeker. Guns not work? Cause I thought I shot man. There we go. Why is this not killing him? Why wasn't that working? <laughs> Do I have to reload or anything? Or is it just an automatic? What the hell? Dom, get out of here. Fishmen! I'll cover you. Die, you filthy rat. Damn it. Well, honestly, though, gun doesn't work. I was just firing blanks at that point. Ridiculous. Like, I was aiming at him. Directly at him. Yes. Wake up. What happened? <gasps> Hi, Bradley. Take that weapon. You'll need it. Carol Hawkins. She. Ah! What? Tell me. My head. You're coming into my head. Bradley. Damn it. Pull yourself together. They got me. I can't resist any longer. You're stronger than that. Cool. Behind this condition, is it related to the nightmares? It's all right, Bradley. Just try to calm down. Everything is going to be fine. <laughs> Are you gun, gun, gun. stupid? I'm telling you, I'm turning into one of them. Bradley, trust me. We lost, Pierce. They even got Sarah Hawkins. I was unable to stop her. What do you mean, unable? She left with the bookseller. They never came back. Doctors told me later that they saw her going in the direction of the whaling station. Yeah. I'm turning, Pierce, into one of those things. No, keep fighting it, Bradley. It's too late. You have to end this. Do it. Kill me. I don't want to, though. Enough killing. Now go, you imbecile. Sorry, Bradley. <laughs> I don't want to shoot him. Sarah Hawkins was going to the whaling station. Yeah, he's just he's just feeling a touch poorly. He hasn't been sleeping well. He just needs to take a nap, you know? What am I doing? Well, we're 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 killing folks. <laughs> That's what we're doing, buddy. Listen, we gotta <laughs> It's fine, you know? I mean, they're kind of beyond our help, oh, right? Nah, didn't matter anyway. 
Is it this way? Am I going this way? What's that? How many died because of this madness? All of them. <laughs> many of them. Who's there? No one. Don't worry about it. I imagine it is frowned upon that I'm killing every single uh, islander that I come across. Even Devo is upset about it. But, you know, what can you do? <laughs> I'm sure they'll be fine. Hi, Devo. I don't imagine there's much, like, hidden around here. But what if there is? It also does look like there are ways for me to just sneak around and not kill a bunch of folks. Oopsies. Right? None witnesses. Oh, hi! Oh, hi! It is true. We have cleared the way. Therefore, it's is easier to sneak. Detective? Can't leave the damn island, huh? I must go to the whaling station. I'll help you get there if you bring me something to fix this wound. I'm coming back with a first aid kit. I'll make it quick. I'm dying. Where do I find a first- where do I find a first aid kit? Hey, pal! It looks like St. Brendan's critics finally got him. Probably the cult's work. <laughs> it's true! Do you like how they crumple? Okay, where can I find a first aid kit for Mitchell? Hello? First aid kit? Maybe up here? In Fitzroy's place? Or potentially behind the bar? Go, die. It looks like an old sea wing. Oh, what's going on now? And when they found me, they ate my flesh. Gross. And my flesh granted them powers and revelations. Yeah. You are getting closer, truth seeker. The most purposeful of all. The thing. The Ew. ultimate thing. I think that's how that works. Someone with exceptional sensitivity to his dreams. This gift will lead him to this island. Uh huh. As I am an oracle, I speak for him you cannot name. Give me that. she done well sarah hawkins is i'm not 
Just made things really awful. Hey, cat. I hear you. Hi. Oh. What are you still doing here, detective? I need to go to the whaling station. You. It's locked. Don't look great. Key to get there. Right. Go get me a first aid kit. I might have something for you. You were chasing Fitzroy, but how many first aid kits do I need? You know, there were too many. Got us. If I don't get something to stop the bleeding, <laughs> you've got red I'm on you. Goner. I'm coming back with a first aid kit. We gotta get some wet wipes for sure. It won't last long. Uh, I need multiple wet wipes actually at this point. Do you think I can find enough to save both of them, or do you think I have to make a choice about who I want to save? Also, my frames have gone to shit all of a sudden. Oh boy. First aid kit. First aid kit. Hello. What happened here? Okay, so bar can't get into. Not allowed. <laughs> no one. Why is it lagging so bad all of a sudden? Hold on a second. Not great. Hang on just a moment. Bad. Very bad. Okay, it doesn't look nearly as bad on the capture as it does for me, so that's good for y'all at least. Um, I need to figure out where these dang med kits are though. Here? Where? Not here. I've already looked there. There's nothing over here. This is where Mitchell is. So then... Where do we go? Hello? Wet wipes! Maybe we use this for a minute so I can... kind of see. This is where we started out. <clears throat> and I can't interact with like any of these doors. Can I get into the cars? No. What happened here? And I can't get in there. I can just ask what's happened. What happened? Maybe there's a first aid kit over here? Hello, wet wipes. I need you. This is a little obnoxious. 
Um, no. No, I would be very upset if that were the case. I don't want to use my lantern. So, like, the lantern gives me more light in general, but I don't want to use it because there's, like, nowhere for me to refill the oil here right now. Are they in these buildings? Can I find first aid kits in here? <laughs> Quite possibly. Hey, buddy. You wanna tell me where I can maybe find a first aid kit? Cause like I can't I can't go in here. I mean, there's nothing in there. It's just a hidey hole. Can I go back here? Are you shitting me? Sorry. No, because this gets me into the whaling station and I need a key for that. So where are we hiding the first aid kits? Maybe they are here, but they're hiding. Just real well hiding. So well. In fact, that I cannot find them. Mm. Feeling a touch ridiculous right now. And uh, <laughs> this is horrible. Here? No, this was the bathroom, and there was nothing in here. There's a dead rat, though. <coughs> so, if we want that, that's there. Can I offer them a dead rat to rub on their wounds? Let me in. Let me in. Hi, Akos. Happy Pride to you, too. How's it going, friend? How are you doing? Where in the world is stupid first aid kit? Nice. Nice. <laughs> it's better than things being at a standstill, you know? I'm doing all right. It's been much cooler today, so I've, like, not been overheating nearly as badly as I have over the last few weeks, which is appreciated. Um, yeah, I'd be doing even better if this game told me where a med kit was, but it won't. Um, but aside from that, yeah, we're doing real well. I don't have any complaints. Um, I might just look up where a first aid kit is, because, like, I 
don't know where I'm supposed to be looking. <coughs> Excuse me. My medicine stat is so low. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh no! Take care of your dang feet! What if I... Do this. Spot hidden has increased significantly. You have some Epsom salts? That could help a little bit. Oof. Bad footwear is the worst, though. Yeah, sit down. Take a break. Take care of your feet. Your dang poor feet. Can't get in there. Where? Where are these? Oh. Um. <laughs> Oh no! What's some? Yeah, I don't know. That's <laughs> that's horrible though. I'm sorry that happened. Like I said, sit down, take it easy, soak your feet a little bit if you if you if you're able to. Up some salts are great, but if you don't have that, even just letting your feet soak in some warm water. Oh jeez. Okay. I'm I'm looking this up. <laughs> um I'm glad you at least like enjoyed like getting out. That's always good. Where's the entrance at the Hawkins Warehouse? That's here though, isn't it? <clears throat> but I can't get in! Hey Mitchell! You got a key, buddy? No. Okay. This seems incorrect. Kill someone I shouldn't have. Oh. 
Hold on. I'm sorry, this is just ridiculous and I don't know <laughs> how I'm supposed to do this. I am confused about what it's trying to have me do. It wants me to go towards the warehouses, which we know are the huge buildings over here. However, I can't get in there. So what do I do? It says I'm supposed to meet a man, like one of Cat's workers. Hmm. Sir, where? <clears throat> Are you shitting me? I. I wish some of the interact buttons were a little more clear and didn't require me being right up hey, on you. top of them. They got the boss. Nasty woman. I wanted to get her the first aid kit in the Hawkins warehouse, but there's one of those poor bastards in it. Too dangerous. I'll see what I can do. Not even an issue. First aid kit. One first aid kit. Two wounded people. Who deserves it? Do we save the bartender? Or do we save the gangster? Hope his boss will have more luck. Hmm. <laughs> What if we only use half a wet wipe on one of them and the other half of the wet wipe on the other person? That'll work, right? Shit. They're going to the whaling station. Yeah, of course Better they are. Hide. Or we can just go. Or we can just go. Have <laughs> we considered just going? Go! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're gonna save Kat. I feel like she's more helpful than the bartender who didn't do anything for us. Hey, Kat. Go get me a first aid kit. I might have something for you. I ha here. Here, take it. Right. The entrance to the whaling station. <laughs> the Hawkins warehouse. You're right, though. <laughs> Great. Cat saved. Fantastic. Get me out of here. I do want to go check on Mitchell. I'm sure he's dead at this point, but, you know, that's fine. 
Oh, sniffles. Also, we're almost at the end of stream. Like, minutes away. He didn't make it. Sad. <laughs> oh, well. Let's at least get to the end of this chapter. And we might just press on, see if we can finish this. Can I not use the key here? That's fine. Let's go back this way. <clears throat> Oh, sniffles. There was a locked door back here. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of my way. Hello? No, you're dead. On this way. Not even concerned. Let's jump on down. Damn it. Am I out of bullets? Well, this seems not great. <laughs> um, no one's, no one's there. Don't worry about it. Absolutely nobody. Where is he going? Put that away. This way? Where am I going? Up there? That seems wrong. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Look, if I could use the wet or if I could use the gun as a bludgeoning object, <clears throat> I would do it in a heartbeat. It's happening. Happening. Here? Want me to go here? I guess I just don't want to like <clears throat> excuse me I don't want to save this for next Monday because I feel like we're like real close to the end you know yeah this is chapter 13 like we have one more after this uh, maybe we keep going <clears throat> maybe we just finish this Or we could finish it after we do some indie stuff on Friday. Here they are, Doc. Oh. Sarah, 
is one of those bastards. I gotta find her quick. Now we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> I don't imagine chapter 14 is gonna be particularly long since it's like the last one. A rope and a hook. Could use that to hold the reservoir back. Um. Where are we going? <clears throat> Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. These are the last entries of the pastor's wife. Her husband ordered his faithful to come together for a final ceremony in the honor of Leviathan. She fears that the pastor will ask them to sacrifice themselves to this abomination. She tried to escape. This is probably why her body was found in a cave under the mansion. This isn't where I came down from, is it? <clears throat> Locked. Let's hope the key isn't far. Hmm. Hmm. He's probably not far, but it is probably hidden. Which is a little bit of an issue. Some oil for our lamp. <clears throat> In here, maybe? Consider? Fuller was a crew member, too. Interesting. Uh, the morning is biting cold. This creature made us work hard. Half of my crew is dead. I've never seen such a thing. I do not even know how to describe what happened. It's as if the creature was talking inside our heads. Some of my men went crazy and jumped overboard. This thing is not a whale. It's far bigger. I don't even know how to describe it. Practically gutted our ship with those tentacles. I don't know how. My harpoon finally pierced the skull of this monster. Crew is in a sorry state. Fuller looks after the injured, but some will not recover. Okay, well, we got the key. So, you know, that's exciting. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's go. Doesn't work. It mentions the Leviathan. Um, the whole crew is descended into madness. They speak of dreams, visions of a nightmarish city and of a sleeping god. Madness. I locked myself in my cabin. I won't be able to hold out for long. Fitzroy has 12 men on his side. He sacrificed everyone who tried to stop them to their new god. I beseech you, almighty god, to have pity on our souls. This will be my last prayer. I can hear them whispering. doesn't work. Okay. I'll be lucky if it's still sharp enough. It is rusty but still looks usable. This should stop the cart from moving. This should help me get the tank swinging. What are we doing? I need something to cut the rope to release the tank against the door. Well, that's one way to make an entrance. <laughs> All right. We'll just make our way in, I suppose. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh, wow. What is that thing? What is that? Here's Sarah. Maybe don't look at the Leviathan for a minute. Maybe we no. don't look at the Leviathan for a second. You're the Leviathan. <laughs> Sarah? It's a chunky boy. I've been gooped. I got gooped. Help, Hello. I've been gooped. Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. There's no room for compassion. Who's there? Your stubbornness of wanting to help others would have deterred you if you had. Faith leads us inevitably to folly. And in one's final moments, one is always alone. You can't escape it forever. It will always find its way. Okay. Hi. <laughs> That's hunks of Leviathan flesh. You eat his flesh while he's still alive. Gross. Gross. Gross, 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 gross. Sarah. Oh! Oh, you're letting me hop down. <laughs> Why? Buddy, we're okay. You don't need to freak out. In fact, you're making it worse by by tripping. All right, you're okay. The door is blocked on the other side. Finally awake. How do you feel, Mr. Pierce? Uh, Fuller! Son of a bitch! I'll kill you! <laughs> no. No, I'm not even really with you. Well, to be perfectly precise, I am with you. <clears throat> but not in this cell. What have you Set done up. to me? <clears throat> me? Nothing, really. See... It's one of the exquisite effects of this incredible creature. Uh, Leviathan! I see you already know about it. Well, shall we begin? Take the treatment or don't. Let's not... No, I said don't! You idiot, I said no! I also said don't eat the meat! Let me take a sample <laughs> for you. Flesh, blood, spinal fluids. Don't be worried. I created the mythological icor from Leviathan's flesh. Who knows what I can make with you? I need your body for my research. No. No, I'm good. <laughs> I, I 
killed him. Yeah, I mean, he was kind of a dick. He was kind of garbage. Honestly. Oh no, it's one of these. This one? Yeah. Okay. It's the one that was around first. I get it. Nothing's happening. Nothing at all. Let me go over here. Oh no. This one. And then Oh <laughs> Thought I had it <clears throat> This is kind of rough It's this one. And then I can... Now I can do this? Oh! This is fine. Just run. We're just gonna go. It's time to go. Oh boy. Everything is exploding, and I don't wanna be here anymore. This seems incredibly dangerous. <laughs> I would like to get my man out of here. Poor buddy. Here's Fitzroy. Time to hoist the white flag. We're not gonna hurt you. I won't go without a fight. Think you're here of your own accord. Ah! Stay back, or I'll put a bullet in your head. Now it's the three more of the bespoke. Follow your destiny. What?
Hi, buddy! What beautiful eyes you have! <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it, Aklos. It's fine. You're just big, big squid boy. <gasps> Last chapter. Yeah, we're just gonna finish this. <laughs> I'm glad it's not it's not taking that much that much longer. All right. Anymore. <laughs> Take a moment, buddy. Sarah. I hate this head bobbing so much. Go, buddy, you got this. Come on, Pally. Is somebody there? Hey, who are you? I mean, that's Sarah, right? <laughs> that's who that is. Where am I? Ugh. To our fallen crew members. They have given their lives for a greater purpose. The last name added is that of Charles. This monument is gruesome. Edward doesn't look too good. Edward looks even worse in that picture. Soon be time, Pierce. You are dead. None of this is real. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you fulfilled your destiny. No. Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. When I 
was eight, my little brother fell from the apple tree. He was bleeding. I took care of him. That very day, I decided to become a doctor. I never reneged on my oath. That's what led me to Darkwater. The people here needed me. I died trying to save one of them. Help me give them a second chance. Embrace the power of this sleeping god. You're out of your mind. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Although their Hold teeth them. don't fit in their mouth and it's you weird. You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Hope. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined. <gasps> Thank you for the follow, friends. But you. I hope you're doing well. Yes. It is your destiny. Um. This pain. The investigation. I understand now. Like you, I was called here by a higher power. Yes. All your choices had the sole purpose of preparing you for the final decision. I must make a choice. Not just make a choice. The, the right, right choice. choice. Not yet, but soon. We have one more thing to accomplish. What is it? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our oracle. Sarah, I feel her calling me. Let us not pick any water. Not yet. <laughs> you have one last thing to accomplish. This does put us at 400, it's true. That's incredibly kind of Sam. I think we're gonna raid over to Sam once we're done with this. We're very, very close. So I guess maybe we'll just turn, maybe we'll just turn our gummy hunt on Saturday into a, a 12, like an official 12 hour stream. Dang. Thank you, Trio B, for being number 400. <laughs> that's, that's incredibly exciting. That's wild to me that 400 people want to follow my account <laughs> wild <laughs> Shut up! Piers let me enjoy this moment Shut come up! on Stop. Go away. Stop. <laughs> oh dang already dead. There's nothing you can do. Just give in. What happened? What happened to me? That's what I'm asking. Sarah. I guess I have kind of been leaning into like taking on the, the forbidden knowledge. This isn't entirely shocking. The miraculous catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. Destiny will guide me out of these caves. She would only have slowed me down. Okay. I can see it be like the art style being really similar to to Dishonored. It's it's been a neat experience. I mean, it's it's Lovecraft, so you know, eldritch horror and all that kind of stuff. Um, some of the sections have been a little clunky, but overall, I've really enjoyed it. I think I'd recommend people check it out. Can I? Can I not? Can I not get out this way? Um, game? How... How do you leave? This is- this is the only way! Well, 
Let me... Did I go the wrong direction? I thought I was supposed to leave, not go deeper into the cave. I guess I'm going deeper into the cave. I wish this head bob would stop, though. With that and the, like, the fuzzy filter coming in and out, it's making my head hurt. <laughs> Can't say I'm a fan of that. Um... Nice. Yeah, I I've like really appreciated all the um the Lovecraftian horror games that have come out um over the last few years. I wanna play more of them. We did one called The Shore not too long ago, which I um I had like kickstarted that one, which was exciting. And it was pretty good. Um this one has been fun and interesting. I wanna replay the Sinking City. Uh, because I really enjoyed that one. I thought it was good. Slash, always here for more recommendations when it comes to, to Lovecraft stuff. Can I just leave? No, that's, that, that ship's broken. That boat is broke. Broke boat. <laughs> the entire game has not had this bad head bob, let me clarify. It's just been, like, this section and one other when we've been, like, hobbling around. Wish it would stop. It's not great. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no yawns. Come on, we're almost there. <laughs> this is the last, last section. Um, I'm actually, I'm currently playing Pathologic uh, with Rudy Spruce. We're, like, uh, like parallel playing it together. <laughs> um, working through it. I really enjoy it so far. I like pathologic. Yeah, we started it. Fruity's still here. Um, I want to play more. <laughs> Would recommend. It's true. It's horrible, and people in flat caps, flat cap, flat caps kept punching us. Would recommend. You should check it out. You should play it. You should definitely play it and let us know what you're doing. Um, the new one, Pathologic 2. What have they done to me? You know, so we don't have to suffer. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Ah, Mr. Pierce. I was expecting you. Fuller. You died in front of my eyes. Don't jump to conclusions. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the mm. power of life. To me, <laughs> my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To I'm you, down for that level of suffering if I know that that's what I'm getting into, but if there's like a better grasp. version of doing it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Like, I went into, like, Darkwood knowing that it was gonna be brutal at points. And I appreciated it and enjoyed it for that. But it's like, if there's a, a more streamlined version of something, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> that is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. Oh, dang. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny, although in vain, make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. I don't wanna. You can't make me. What if I choose to not choose? Very good. <laughs> it's definitely been a really cool narrative experience 
I'll say. Which is, I'm more willing to forgive some of the, like, mechanical clunkiness of this for that. Take everything from me. Wife. Life. Destiny. You first took your right to a normal life. The moment you enjoyed power over humanity. Good morning, Jesse. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. <laughs> don't punch me, you sir. Don't have the slightest idea of what oh, we're doing this whole choking thing again? What I've been through. I have I like that they have like reused this animation. <laughs> sleeps. My marriage, my family, my own flesh. Why? Why is it your damn face on her painting? Cause I'm just that cool, my dude. Don't be jelly. Hello. But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know. You'll see it as the unknown in your stupid eyes. Cloud your judgment. Quit lying to yourself and embrace your destiny. It's not cowering that brought you those medals. Mm -hmm. None of this is real. Trust your gut. If nothing's real, what are you? I'm a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches? Don't listen to them. They're too dangerous for your tired mind. Okay. Okay. I mean, the thing that they want us to do, we're not going to do, right? It's so dramatic. Can't run. It's right there. I'm almost there. Just trying to make sure I don't fall off the ledge. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> Also, I like the tentacles behind the clouds. Here you are at last, truth seeker. We were waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover, but I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. Yeah, we're gonna go for it. <laughs> Strange and horrifying, but always true. Will you trust my words? Yes. One man, one man only, prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written, or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate.
Do I really not get any other options? Or will they show up eventually? makes sense. <laughs> well, Dunn did fucked up. But again, it makes sense. I did, I did lean into the whole learning about all the crazy wackiness that was going on. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> you would. Wake up! <laughs> Nap time is over! It's our buddy. It's Cthulhu. We did it. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> that was cool. I liked it. Um, and I'm glad that we finished it now. <laughs> As opposed to like waiting forever to get to like that last 40 minutes. Um, yeah, it was cool. I feel like I ended the world. Yay! Honestly, probably doing everyone a favor with that. Um, yeah, some of the stuff, like, some of the mechanics were a bit clunky. Um, but I had fun with, with the storytelling and all the, the weirdness that was going on. I would like to, I don't know, maybe at some point I'll play it again and, like, try... Um, uh, try a different, like, build. Maybe less occultism. <laughs> Maybe do a little less occult nonsense. Maybe focus more on, like, the hidden aspect of stuff. I don't know. That was neat, though. I liked it. I liked it. But, uh, yeah. I guess. Wait, what is this? Hold on. Fitzroy is still alive. Oh, no, never mind. 
<laughs> All just fighting among ourselves? Well, this is happening. that happened. <laughs> well, sucks for them. <laughs> That's officially the end of Call of Cthulhu. Um, yeah, I dug it. That was neat. We exit out of the game. And let's, uh, yeah. I don't have much else to say. So I think we're probably just going to set up a raid, you know? Um, and I think a good friend, Sam Killjoy, is cur currently streaming, doing some Elder Scrolls. Um, and they've been on a bit of a break. So let's go say hi! Because we love Sam here. <laughs> awesome. Um, well, thank you everyone for being here and hanging out. It's fun as always. Um, we will be back on Friday with some... Whatever we're doing. Whatever it is that we're doing on Friday. Indie stuff. Indie games on Friday. Reminder, Gummy Hunt on Saturday. If I'm gonna be doing a 12-hour stream, I might start earlier in the day. I currently am scheduled to start around noon. We might start around 10 o'clock. I'll let everyone know what the details on that are. Um, but yeah, thanks for being here. Take care of your dang selves. Have a good rest of your time zone, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, friends!